Why is it that it looks as if for the past decade or two or three, oral infections on the continent of Africa has been increasing? Uh, is that is, is the case same for, for Ghana? How is it like? Um, yes, I would say yes, because of the fact that there are actually very high numbers Happy when it comes Africa. to caries. Mm. And uh, partly is due to our snacking behaviors. Mm. Now we are moving away from having to eat fruits and vegetables or being in the villages where you have to be eating all the fresh mm-hmm, foods mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then now we are we are moving towards the more refined foods and these refined foods actually have a higher risk of causing dental caries and dental mm. caries is in our local parlance is kaka mm. the usual kaka that we 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 would say Mm -hmm. and it's it's actually a cavity that forms within the tooth Mm. so the tooth structure we have different layers Mm -hmm. so from the outside to the inside we have the enamel we have the dentine and then we also have the pulp Mm -hmm. and depending on where the cavity or the hole is the treatments are different and then also depending on how deep the the cavity is it means that the patient to present with different signs and symptoms. So usually, when you have the cavity within the enamel, it's usually painless. So nobody would actually pay attention to it. You know, mm. Ghanaians, yeah. we would always want to have um, dire signs for us to be able to go How to the hospitals. Mm-hmm. But here's the case, you have a hole in the enamel, usually it doesn't present with pain. Mm. But when it progresses to the dentine, which is the second layer, mm then you may end up having some sensitivities mm. to hot foods or cold foods or extremes of temperature. Mm. Or even sometimes... It, it, doc, 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 as a more can you know, mom will send the message me before you have a phone, Mr. Munyai. Doc, as a more can you know, I say, I say, oh, my mono, and I say, oh, baby, my one. You said that in Yamre and my num, you say, a home seven. Now, in Pimpino, Eh, se 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 de ama enum ya de ana sese ya de ye hunu no eh ya twen ye ho afri enka ne enuani bi ana nka wose ye die eh obekɔ benya atosode kama kama bi no adu benya fruit bi mango bi pe bi no adi na nka betimi aboa wo no se se ya twen ye ho afri ho ene ne enie ma ye process ahodo no pii no ano ena ye die e wo man mu ntie no enya nsunsanso e wo eye ye sene so na na doko e kasa e fa kaka ho ena ose kaka yi e to da uh, osi ese no yewo yewo ye yeah, three day yeah there are three different layers it's three different layers na ze yewo en totoso mi ensa enamel aha uh-huh. the dentine dentine and then we have the pulp and then we have the pulp in yeah. tcc no eh ye dental caries ya na wo kan make kan 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 wo se se cavity no tokro no ekokoda ese no emu a eh ze fa no se e da enamel no mu a na che se eno no enye enye ya sa aha enye ya sa en tie no no amamfo Exactly. It's so a better so so The dentine layer, where you have some sensitivity to extremes of temperature. Mm. So you have this short, sharp pain. Mm. Sometimes when you are chewing on something, you have this short, sharp pain. And sometimes it's also sensitive to Happy citric fruits like oranges. Mm. Or any acid containing food. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Yes. And then if people so sometimes you get people coming in that stage because of that sensation and then you are able to take care of it. And then some people still do not come. They wait until it gets to the pulp layer. The pulp layer is actually the third layer mm-hmm. and it is the living part of the tooth. That is where you have your blood vessels and then you have your nerves. Mm. But your uncle Facebook, I bet me a hundred year can. Sans me a year can bet me a hundred be a ho. Eh, meaning me say a dear obu sasset and some a year can cry. Se I own for home for me in a year Facebook, but your Facebook and some way you do home come obit me a home. We talk about your toss one, whatever. Okay, so then when you get to the pulp layer, mm. that's where you have the blood vessels mm. and nerves. Mm. And when the and just a exactly, mm. and then when you get to that layer, that's Happy where we F- have sleepless F- nights. There is excruciating pain F- to the extent that they have sleepless nights. It affects their normal activities, mm. and that is when they rush and come to the hospital. But mind you, when you have the cavity within the first two layers, mm-hmm. it's actually very simple to treat. You can just do a simple filling, and then the patient is fine, and monitor the patient is fine, mm. and then. 
if it gets to the third layer, which is the pulp, then it limits your treatment options. Mm. It's either you pull out the tooth or you do some extensive filling that we call root canal therapy, mm. which would then be followed by putting a cap on it to protect it. And the point is that the, the, the severer the cavity, it means that you would have to spend more money compared to when it's very little and it's affecting very, I mean, superficial layers of the tooth. Mm. So it's important, even though you may not be able to perceive a hole within your tooth when it's in the enamel. Mm. Sometimes the only sign you may have is when you eat, food catches. You tend to have food packing in particular side, and it's not supposed to be so. That mm. should give you an idea that, okay, there's something wrong with my tooth and I need to quickly have it checked and sorted out because if you wait and then it gets to the poor player, then it means that you'd have to spend more money having to treat it. And, and, and if you lose the tooth too, mm -hmm. yes, it means that it's very expensive. There's nothing that can replace your original, original biologic tooth. You get it, and but you'd have to spend more money on that as well. So, so it means that uh, most of the times we, we, we do not pay particular attention to what really goes on within our mouths. Yes, we don't. Um, and um, yes, and 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 it's 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 very obvious because mm. there are people who Happy still F come to the hospital, especially in my area Happy where F oral maxillofacial surgery, we have toothache causing deaths of people. Doc, wait. Yes. We have. Tooth aches yes. causing deaths of, of people. And I'll explain. In the sense that you remember I took you through the first layer, second layer, third layer. Mm -hmm. Now when it gets to the third layer, people are still adamant. They do not come. So when they don't come and then Happy we tend ever. to have spreading infections. So spreading infections it means that the tooth is within the bone. And within the bone, you have your jaws. Mm. So you have your upper jaw being your maxilla, and then you have your lower jaw being the, the mandible. Mm. So these, the tooth is socketed within the bone, mm -hmm. and within the bone, you have connections to other areas of, your, of, of the head and neck region. So mm -hmm. you have spaces, we call them fascial spaces, mm. within the jaw and within the neck region. Mm. So these fascial mm -hmm. spaces, are there and if you have abscesses forming from this tooth from this caries it can end up propagating and then spread into these regions so there's something we call ludwig's angina which is actually very life-threatening in the sense that this is where you have a toothache and then you have severe odontogenic spreading Happy infection F where it spreads to your submandibular region so your bilateral submandibular region, that is where your submandibular gland is located. Mm. And then it also goes to under your tongue. That's your sublingual space. And there's some mental spaces. To the extent that it causes respiratory embarrassment. Mm. So when I say respiratory embarrassment, I mean that it actually uh, causes distress when you are breathing. So it's, it's, it more or less it chokes you. Mm. because of the spreading infection. Okay. Sometimes it goes all the way to the neck region. It even goes all so that's, the way. So that's, that's yes. tooth from toothache. It starts tooth from ache. toothache, yes. All the way down to? All the way down. You get it. And then we have a lot of them. When they come, you have to admit to them, and then you have to do some incision and drainage, and then manage them on some IV medications over a period in patients and then make sure that Happy but you see when some of these cases come and they already have some underlying medical conditions mm. some immunocompromised state and all it becomes very difficult mm. and they may end up becoming very septic septic shock and then it ends up and uh, ending their lives so so so, 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 so can actually lead. cause you to lose your life whoa whoa look oral health day what is it all about? So Oral Health, World Oral Health Day is set aside by Happy WHO, Happy. Um, 20th of March, every year to celebrate, to pause and celebrate and talk to people about dental health, about oral health, to remind people some of the tidbits when it comes like to Like what you've health. just shared with us? Yes. I'm and even scared to, now. Oh, you shouldn't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to make you scared, but it's to help you be aware of your health mm, and take charge that's of it. That's true. 
Exactly. So that's that's basically about oral health. Where people, I mean, World Oral Health Day, mm. where people, we have uh, dental health practitioners, we have oral health practitioners across the country, raising some awareness, going out there into the districts, going out there into the grassroots, and then providing free dental screenings to people who cannot afford, mm. people who do not even Happy have the facilities ever. in their regions to be able to benefit from having to see a professional and then interact with the professional. Mm. So aside the advocacies, um, even what I'm doing today is yes, part of it's, World it's part of, Oral yeah. Health Day, mm. to come to some media houses and then spread the news and then talk about some um, oral health conditions so mm. that people are aware, better educated about their oral health. You, you, you mentioned oral health conditions. For example, you we started a conversation off the back of um, dental caries. Yeah. Apart from that, what other okay, oral so health conditions are, do we have? There are quite a number. So I'll just mention a few mm -hmm. of them. So we have something we call periodontitis. Mm -hmm. So periodontitis is inflammation of the supporting structures of the teeth. Okay. So you remember when I was explaining the what the tooth is socketed in, mm. I mentioned the bone. The bone. So aside the bone, we have something called the periodontal Happy ligaments. We, all, we also Happy have, Evan. when you open your mouth, the flesh mm -hmm. part of, of, of your mouth mm. is the gums. So the gum, so when you have all these supporting structures having, I mean, undergoing inflammation, we call that um, periodontitis. Mm. And usually they will present with, um, having lost their tooth. So when you have inflammation of the supporting structures, it tends to weaken the foundation. Mm. And in no time, you tend to lose teeth. Mm -hmm. So your teeth tend to fall out. Mm. There are actually different forms of periodontitis, but one of them is the aggressive form. And the aggressive form, usually if you do not diagnose it early, mm. the patient may end up emptying his or her mouth. Everything because gone. Everything goes away. And you can imagine having... I mean, a mouth without any teeth, even at a very young age. Mm. And then we also have um, oral cancers. Mm. So oral cancers are oral very dear cancers? to me. Yes, they are very dear to me because also in my area of specialty, we see a lot of them. And then oral cancers, usually the survival um, rate is about just five years, five years survival rate, where if you are even diagnosed early and treated, mm. you have that much time to live mm. you get it so oral cancers usually would start off as um some non-healing ulcer non-healing something in the mouth that is not healing exactly, exactly. so when you have non-healing ulcer for, for about two weeks please don't sit at home for about two weeks for about two weeks okay. that is not healing mm. okay please don't sit at home quickly rush to the hospital and let it get checked out. Mm. So usually when you come, a, a little bit of it will be taken to the lab where it will be checked under the microscope and then you would be able to, to be told whether it's cancer or it's not cancer. Mm. But cancer, as we know, nobody likes cancer. Cancer is when you have cells Happy within Evan. a particular region growing or starts multiplying in an uncontrollable fashion. Mm. And then they don't stay in that area they tend to spread to other parts of the body. Yeah. So they spread to, they can spread to the lungs, they can spread to the bones, they can spread to the brain, they can spread to every part of the body. And this is where they tend to give you signs and symptoms related to those systems. So aside you having that ulcer within your mouth, which usually does the presentation, you tend to have other symptoms related to other parts of the body, depending on the spread or the extent of spread of that um, cancer. Um, halitosis? Yeah, halitosis as well. Is, is it that bad common? Breath. Yes. You tend to have people come in, but there are different forms of halitosis mm. because people will come to you that, oh, doctor, I feel that I have bad breath. Or I feel that when I'm talking to people, people tend to, 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 to do some signs Happy that shows that they're not comfortable talking or interacting with me. Mm get it there are, there are ways that we can actually diagnose true halitosis there are different forms mm. there's true halitosis there's pseudo halitosis there's also halitophobia so sometimes it's psychological maybe the person may have had it before and was treated for it but still thinks and perceives that he or she still has the bad breath 
you get it. So such people, we have some psychotherapy that we, we take them through. Mm. And then there are others too that is truly halitosis. 90% of the time, halitosis is from the mouth. Mm. But the 10% is from other parts of the body. So when you take your face, for instance, mm. you have on top of your face, mm. there are some spaces that help you keep a very light head. We call them sinuses. Mm. So these sinuses, when they are infected, especially the maxillary sinus, mm. and you tend to have chronic cough, sorry, chronic cold, that can predispose you to having halitosis. And then also, f- even from your GIT, you can end up having halitosis from that. But when you present to the clinic with halitosis, we tend to take care of the mouth because 90% comes from the mouth. You go through the treatment, which is scaling and polishing. You are given some cleaning aids, and then you are reviewed after that. Mm. If after that period you still perceive it, then we look further. We look at the other systems that I have Happy mentioned to see if maybe it's coming from those other areas. Then you can be treated. But yes, it is something that is happening and it's, it has social implications in the sense that some people tend to lose their loved ones. Some people tend to, I mean, their relationships end because of halitosis and etc. etc. Yeah. Doc, finally, your advice to us. What, okay. what should we take home? All right, so what I would say is that, yes, oral health diseases are actually very important and we need to be able to know about it and to be able to visit our dentist. So please visit your dentist at least twice a day, twice yearly. So every six months you go visit the dentist where cleaning is done for you. The other thing is that Make sure that you are brushing your teeth at least two minutes. Happy for at least two minutes because people tend to just go in. In fact, seconds. Two minutes. Yes, two minutes. So if you brush your teeth be, be beyond two minutes, is it is it okay? It's fine, at least. So that's at least. I'm putting a cap on it. It shouldn't be less uh, than how, two how, minutes. How should, how should you do it? Because... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had, we have, we've had. Educate. Yeah, so they are, they are oh, this correct. This way, that way, exactly. that way. Exactly, so they are correct Some are techniques. doing it this way. Exactly, so they are correct techniques. S- the correct technique, share with us the correct technique. The correct technique is to actually brush all surfaces of the teeth. First? So, yes, so to brush that, so the labial surfaces and the buccal surfaces, they are the surfaces when I, when I, when I give you a smile. That's the surfaces that you see. Mm. Okay, so you need to use the circular technique when you are brushing okay. those surfaces. Okay, circular yeah, technique. Yeah, in a circle. Okay. We don't want you doing the horizontal or the vertical. The horizontal in the sense that if I give you about 10 years mm. and you are brushing your teeth in a horizontal fashion, you tend to cause gutters around the necks of your teeth. Doc, no, calm down, calm down. <laughs> They'll calm down. So when I'm doing this, yes, every day, yeah, I I am what creating gutters. Yes, what kind of so gutters? So we though? call them. We call them. So it's it's you tend to um, cause yes gutters. I'll I'll just use gutters for for now. It's actually called cervical abrasions in the medical mm. So you will see that you have lost some tooth tissue around the gums. Okay. So now it doesn't flush as it should be, mm-hmm. but there's this gutter or crater that you have. Yes, and it's because of the constant the horizontal, constant horizontal brushing. brushing technique. Exactly. Hey. You see, and it doesn't and dogs end end there. There. Yeah, some people, I mean, a lot of people come and they, f- they have already destroyed a lot of their tooth tissue or tooth structures. And also, the type of toothbrush bristle Happy is very important. Toothbrush in a Yes. Exactly, yes. So the bristle type should, mm. usually for adults, it should be medium. And for kids, it will be soft. So anytime Doc, you are okay, going okay to medium because we say if so or no or no to brush and then yeah. Smokers. No please. Smokers <laughs> or hard <laughs> tooth brushes are not for your teeth. Yes. They'll end up causing these cervical abrasions that I have mentioned. So that 
So for adults, is medium. Medium. So anytime you are going to buy, make sure that you check on the packaging. It's usually written at the at the top of the tooth. It's the Okoto tooth toothbrush, and you know, it's written whether this is soft or this yes. is medium or this is hard. Exactly. Yes. So usually. So the hard ones. The hard ones are not for your teeth. They can be used for scrubbing, scrubbing the floors. Or the hard ones. Yes. It's not for your teeth. But that's what a lot of people no, 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 will no, say no. they like. I mean, it, it helps to, them. It tends to give you even sores around your teeth. So the hard ones are, are a no, 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 no. But you mean to me, I have a toothbrush. I have a toothbrush. I have a toothbrush. Yes. I have a toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm. So you see, these gutters that you form, the same fashion. Hmm. It's your first take care of the enamel then it goes to the to the dentine layer you start having sensitivity mm. and then it goes to the pulp pulp yeah so we don't want it to get there and then also for the vertical brushing mm -hmm. the vertical brushing usually it's wood once you go vertical to the top mm -hmm. it will hit your gum yes you go vertical down it will hit your gum again. yes and imagine doing this for about 10 years you're pushing your gums away from your teeth Happy that can come with some hypersensitivity as well. So the usual and the correct way is to do the circular brushing because it sweeps the dirt and then you're able to get them out in between your teeth. And then you open your mouth wide for the other surfaces. So for the lingual surfaces, that's the surfaces that are closer to your tongue and the surfaces that are closer to the palate, that's the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. You can brush out we call them angular brushing where you angulate the brush and then you brush it outward okay yes you brush that out it's actually, <laughs> it's actually very difficult when you start initially but then i give you just two weeks you get used to it and that will be the default brushing technique once you start and persevere and then mm. you are supposed to bring your tongue out mm -hmm. and also brush it outward, mm -hmm. okay? And then you Happy clean in between your teeth as well mm -hmm. using dental floss. Okay. Okay. I always say that if you do not floss your teeth, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it can be equated to going to the washroom, mm -hmm. cleaning every part of your body, but leaving your armpit and coming out. Dog, Imagine that. Dog, we can just hard in we go use up. Because I homano. They say no yeah, if you are money do you. Oh no, you should get the dental floss proper. I know we are in economic crisis, but please take some time off and then get all of these aids. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so once you do this exactly and then the outward. Exactly. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, and then you floss in between. And then you floss in between. At least try and floss once daily. Yes, so you if you are brushing twice daily, morning and evening, mm. last thing before you go to bed. Mm. So just look at the time that any of these two times where you have more time. Okay. So you see, mostly people are in a hurry to rush out for work in the morning. In the morning, yeah. So in the evenings when you have a lot of time, then you can take your Happy time heaven. and then do that before you go to bed. Doc, uh... And then visit the dentist as well. Uh, uh, twice. Dentist, no, dear. Yeah. Was it twice? Twice yearly. So okay. every six months to have professional the, cleaning. I'm more amount caught for the past six years. No, me a call how many times this year? <laughs> no, I mean, they can start. So okay. once they start, Happy that's it. It's twice yearly. yearly. Twice yearly. But, Doc, and that day, no, how are you, I mean, commemorating it? Okay. So for today, actually, for Colibu Teaching Hospital Dental mm -hmm. Team. We had an outreach that was done yesterday at um, the Tuesday market. So Happy we reached out to market women okay. and all those who were selling within the market. And thankfully, we were able to screen about over 300 women mm. free of charge and um, about 47 extractions with us for those who needed it. They had treatments Happy done Evan. for free. And medications were also provided. And then some souvenirs from um, um, Unilever were also given to all those who were screened. Mm -hmm. So toothpaste, toothbrushes, medium toothbrushes 
we're actually giving to all medium. those. Yes, medium, not hard. Not hard. Mm. We're giving to all those. Who Let me repeat, in. medium. Yes. Not hard. Yes. And well, I have been saying, oh, the <laughs> scrubbing brush, which you choose, you know. You yes. too far to pay. Exactly. And then we also had um, sponsors and supporters like Tobinko Pharmaceuticals, like um, um, Rock Chemists. They provided some of the medications mm. that we, we gave to all those who had extractions done. I want to say a very big thank you to them as well as the GDA, which is Ghana Dental Association for their support. Mm -hmm. And aside um, the outreach that we had, Throughout the month of March, there are going to be different activities. Mm. So some of the activities would be other outreaches to other selected groups. And then there are also going to be a lot more of media engagement across the country. Mm. And then also on Facebook, on Happy Instagram, Apple. they are going to be sharing some oral health tidbits to be able to reach out to more people. And um, yes, yeah, so basically advocacy and reaching out to people and then also making sure that the message is clear and we are practicing what we should be practicing. Doc, Obisa Mimusa said maxillofacial surgery. Yeah. And then I'm here. So maxillofacial surgery, as the name implies, is maxillofacial. Mm -hmm. So anything mm -hmm. within the face. So the maxilla is your upper jaw mm. and the mandible is your lower, your lower jaw. jaw. So we treat patients from infections, the spreading infections that I had I made mention of, which comes from toothache, and it goes all the way from either it ascends or it goes downwards, and then tumors. So tumors, either they are odontogenic tumors or these oral cancers. Mm. We, we take care of patients who have oral cancers, who, who have other benign tumors that need to be taken care of. And then there are... Um, Yes, so basically that, and then we also do fractures, very important. So most of these Okada people who tend to ride mm. without helmets, mm -hmm. who end up with fractures, facial fractures, mm. breaking part of. So when I say fracture, I mean breaking mm. your bones mm -hmm. within the face. Mm -hmm. We fix that as well. So that is what's, in a nutshell, what marks the facial mm. surgery. Dr. Yes, we enjoy what we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Uh, Omkar Sumza Kariad, um, oral and maxillofacial surgery resident, public health practitioner, Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Doc Anope. Now, toothpaste, no say, the henna you use, you know? So, toothpaste, for you to, I wouldn't sit here and then recommend any brand. In, no, 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 not so any So, there are three th things to look out for. Mm. So, you look out for the expiring date okay. to make sure that it's not expired. Mm. You look out for whether it's fluoridated or not fluoridated. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then, yeah, so once it's fluoridated, not fluoridated, it has, is not, is not too, the expiry date is Happy good Apple. enough. And then also the abrasive content. Mm. So once you have these three things, you can go. F so f the big brands that we have in the markets, I think I can recommend any of those. So from Pepsodent to Colgate to Oral-B, all of them have gone through FDI accreditation. Mm. So FDI accreditation, fluoride, and then the expiry date. So once you have these three, yeah, it's good. good. To go. It's good yeah. to go. Doc, thank you very much. Say, I'm not paying. Your tones are frail. Uh, but will be the question about how will you know that it is fluoridated? How would you know that? It's, it's usually written. Okay. It's, it's usually so if you pick your toothpaste, you yeah. need to check whether it is fluoridated or, or not. not. Yeah. If it's fluoridated, you buy. Exactly. If it is not. Fluoride is good for the teeth, it okay. helps strengthen the teeth. Mm. You get it. So once you have. Apart that, from that, are there any other. Things that we can do to actually make, you know, the teeth a bit stronger. Uh, maybe avoiding some acids. Uh. Uh -huh. A lot of carbonated drinks can also erode the teeth, okay. you know. And then acid-containing foods, a lot of them. You can have it, have them. But once you have them, make sure that you rinse your mouth immediately so that the contact time is reduced. You get it, yes, and then make sure that you brush. But your so sure question here is wow, the question you're buying or so cool, doc. Me too, was that question you're in for now? I have had sensitive, uh, sensitive teeth for about five years now. Okay, 
Oh, but a dog here. Can I quote your consulting fee? So hypersensitivity <laughs> can be from a number of things. Mm. It can even be. Dog entry, my baba, my baba. Okay, sure, Obeba. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> However, okay. <laughs> dog, we should we should be uh, conscious of yeah, 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 Say a tons of frail, uh, or buy an anopen age drink come World Oral Health Day, a net 20th of March 2024. A year, Dr. Umka assumes a career, Adam, or oral and say we know about no young to was here. Maxillofo, a maxillofacial surgery resident, public health practitioner at the Colibu Teaching Hospital, Doc. 